Hello, this is Jonathan Kay from the University of Massachusetts Medical School reporting for Room Now at ULAR 2021. I was supposed to be in Paris, but instead I'm jet lagged at home, having awakened at four o'clock in the morning to begin listening to presentations from today's ULAR virtually on my computer. When a patient with rheumatoid arthritis responds inadequately to methotrexate, should we add a TNF inhibitor? a non-TNF inhibitor biologic agent, or a JAK inhibitor. Several randomized controlled clinical trials have compared the effectiveness of JAK inhibitors to adalimumab, each in combination with methotrexate. In two such trials, a JAK inhibitor was found to be superior to adalimumab. In the AMPLE trial, abatacept and adalimumab, each in combination with methotrexate, were equivalent in all outcome measures assessed. But what happens in clinical practice? Two analyses of large clinical registries were presented today at ULAR 2021. In abstract OP0122, Barbalescu et al. compared the response to treatment with JAK inhibitors to that with TNF inhibitors, abatacept and IL-6 receptor inhibitors in over 6,300 rheumatoid arthritis patients in the Swedish Rheumatology Quality Register. They found similar retention on treatment at 12 months for all medications. JAK inhibitors showed comparable clinical responses to biologic DMARDs. There were no statistically significant differences in effectiveness between JAK inhibitors and biologic DMARDs. How do TNF inhibitors compare to non-TNF inhibitor biologic agents in clinical practice? In abstract OP0117, Jan Fantresco et al. studied over 16,000 rheumatoid arthritis patients from the American College of Rheumatology's RISE registry who had not previously been treated with a biologic or targeted synthetic DMARD. They found that after 12 months of treatment, disease activity was higher for patients of Black and Asian race, non-Hispanic ethnicity, and female sex who had been treated with a TNF inhibitor as compared to those who had been treated with a non-TNF inhibitor biologic. In contrast, disease activity was lower in those patients of Hispanic or Latinx ethnicity who had been treated with a TNF inhibitor than in those who had been treated with a non-TNF inhibitor biologic. These observations from analyses of large registries are interesting, but need prospective confirmation in pragmatic clinical trials. Much other interesting information has been presented today. For more ULAR 2021 coverage, head to roomnow.com. I'm Jonathan Kay.